The man we've been waiting for to give us his thoughts. It is finally here, baby. Robert Kirkman talking about Carl. Alright, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to All Things Film. Today, I'm going to go over the Entertainment Weekly interview with Robert Kirkman, who finally gave us his thoughts on Carl's death. And I'm not, I'm not, I didn't give a spoiler warning, so if, if you haven't seen the episode, I'm sorry. The title of this video is probably going to spoil it for you, so I apologize in advance. But, not even in advance, you probably already got a spoil. But, if you haven't seen the episode by now, I don't even know why the hell you're on the internet. But, let's get started, because I am very excited for this. I've been waiting for this interview, because I know Robert Cookman's favorite character is Carl. And, you know, we heard Andrew Lincoln's thoughts, Car uh, Chandler Riggs' thoughts, Norman Reedus' thoughts, you know, Scott M. Gimple's thoughts. We heard everybody's thoughts on Carl's death except Robert Kirkman himself, the man, the myth, the legend, the guy behind The Walking Dead. But it's finally here for us, guys. All right. So the first thing I want to talk about, he says, um, well, obviously, I'm going to talk about the stuff he says. And the first thing he says, I think Scott, he was talking about how Scott M. Gimple brought it up to him, like, as a possibility. He says, I think Scott first brought it up to me as a possibility probably about a year ago at this point. And I want to talk more about that in a second because I think that means something behind the scenes. I'll, I'll get to that in a second. But then he goes on to say, who, and then he goes on to say, um, oh yeah, it says like he's an executive producer. That's Robert Kirkman. He's also a producer on the show. A lot of people think he, uh, think he probably didn't have a say in this. And he probably did, but he probably agreed with them. And I'll get more, I'll get to that again in a little bit. But then he goes on to say, at first I was kind of like, well, that's a big one, you know. I might have a little bit of, uh, you know, trepidation. But then once he laid it out to me exactly what his long-term plans were and the things that will come out of it. And the things that it leads to, it was something I got on board with. So obviously, Robert Kirkman was kind of nervous at first also. Uh, but I guess it worked out at the end because he agreed with it. Unless he's just saying that for TV. But the thing I want to talk about a year ago. Because he said um, Scott brought up the idea about a year ago. And a year ago is when um, Chandler Riggs' contract expired. His contract expired at the end of Season 7 after they finished filming. And you might be wondering, how the hell do I know that? Because we never talked about it. If you remember, his father posted that thing on Instagram or Facebook or whatever it might be. But his father posted something saying, um, uh, he said, like, you know, seven-year contract done. We're so grateful to AMC and Scott M. Gimple and all that. And then he deleted it shortly after. So I think that I think that was all a mistake, or I think maybe AMC got mad at him for posting that. Now, I'm not saying that AMC got mad at him for posting that and they, they killed Carl off the show. That's not what I'm saying at all, because I think that'll be kind of ridiculous. You know, they killed him because his dad did a mistake. But I think what happened is that um, they could have, uh, after his contract ended, they couldn't come up with a solution or like an extension to the contract. And that led to Carl dying as soon as possible. And obviously they wouldn't kill him in the premiere. So they decided to wait to the mid-season finale and then that's where they kill him. That, it's in my opinion, is why uh, when I read, you know, Scott brought it up first about a year ago. That's the first thing that clicked in my head. So... Again, I, I think that's what it might be. Again, I might be stretching it because I'm looking into this way too much. But that's that's what it, that's what comes to me when I when I when I read that quote. Okay, so moving on to the next thing he said, um, he was talking about because he even even Robert Kirkman knows that the fans online were rioting. He says over here, he says, um, I know that some fans online must have been very upset. You don't say. Uh, he said, but that's by design. I mean, the fans online were outrageous. You know, the Rock Walking Dead community was going crazy, going berserk. They even made a petition. Like, 25,000 people signed that petition to fire Scott and Gimple. Now, I'm not saying that they uh, their, their wish got granted because... Um, the, uh, Scott M. Gimble didn't get fired. He just got promoted. We just we got a new showrunner though. So I'm not sure if the AMC, you know, uh, if they took that into account and then they said, you know what, let's get with the fan, um, let's do what the fans want and get us a new showrunner. I think that's what it might have happened. But obviously they didn't fire Scott M. Gimble because again, I don't think it's one man's fault that Carl died. I think there has to be stuff that we don't know. But that being said, moving on, he says, uh. We're not supposed to be happy when these characters die. We're supposed to be worried about what comes next and anticipating what comes next and stressing about what comes next. Uh, that just shows that you're engaged and you're interested. Our job is to now pay, pay that off and fulfill that interest and prove that this was a decision worth making. That's what we got to do. So hopefully they're hyping this up saying that, you know, um, even Greg Nicotero talked about it, um, had a quote in here too. Uh, he said something about the, the next episode, who he actually directed too. And I am a fan of Greg Nicotero's episodes that he directed. They're usually pretty good episodes. They're pretty, um, you know, action-packed and pretty pretty nice episodes. But that being said, uh, back to what I, back to what Robert Kirkman said. Um, so, yeah, he, he they're obviously looking at the future of the show. 
and you know Carl's death. I think it, it might it probably was sudden for them too, but I think they're ready for what comes next, and they're definitely writing it, and hopefully uh, it fulfills again. It fulfills everything because we think a lot of fans think that. Even I personally am having a little doubt because now that Carl's gone, I know a lot of storylines are gonna be gone. But I don't want the Walking Dead to end. I don't want it to end like I'm <laughs> like I mean I want it to end at a good point, not now or anything, not now or next season or next season after. I'm hoping for a good like maybe eleven or twelve seasons. Uh, but anyways, that's that's besides the point. So hopefully, you know, Carl's death doesn't affect the show too much. And by the by, the looks of it, what they're saying, they're saying that it doesn't affect it too much. So that being said, Greg Nicotero said, um, he goes on. He says over here, he says, um, the people that the people are clearly upset about losing Carl and questioning where the show goes without Carl. Again, yeah, a lot of people were scared the show was gonna end soon. And then he goes on to say, I really do believe that a lot of people will put those feelings aside when they watch this next episode because they're really going to get an opportunity to make some peace with it. So hopefully that means Carl gets a nice, good, you know, goodbye. Because obviously I don't know what they mean by peace with it. Uh, again, like Carl's going to die no matter what. So I don't know what people will be happy seeing him go in the grave. Unless he says, uh, I mean, I think he's going to say something that changes Rick's mind or something. I, I'm, I'm really excited to see this. All this news coming out with the Entertainment Weekly and stuff. I'm really excited um, to uh, to watch episode 9. But yeah, I think he's going to say something to Rick and change his ideology, his mind, you know, his mindset on the war. And I think that's what fans are going to like, I guess. But that being said, Robert Cookman said, um, he said, uh, this is going to be a great tribute to Carl the character and Chandler the actor. It's definitely Chandler's best work. His work in this next um, in, this, in this episode is absolutely amazing. It's something he should really be proud of. It's something people will be talking about for a good long while. We're just really excited to share with the audience. And uh, again, they're talking a lot about the acting. And uh, I know Chandler Riggs gets a lot of heat about his acting for some reason. Uh, I mean, enough. I shouldn't say for some reason. I do understand the heat he gets. But again, I personally don't think it's that bad. I enjoy it. I mean, I don't go out of my way and be like, oh, that was... Obviously, some stuff... Uh, when you, I'm trying to think of the word when you express, what do you call it, like, delivery, yeah, line delivery, some of his, some of his line delivery is kind of, like, bad here and there, but for the most part, I, I think he does a pretty decent job, like, nothing too bad that makes the show, like, bad or anything, but then he says, um, Robert Cookman over here, he talks about the stories that I was just talking about with the whisper, he said, there are big, huge stories coming up, uh, that you might think will be massively altered because of the absence of Carl, but we've known these storylines have been coming for years. There are plans in place to be to make it all work. The loss of Carl doesn't necessarily mean that we are going to be losing big swaths of the comic book story. It means that there are going to be some differences to them. The goal is that those differences will be ex just as exciting to the audience as they are to me. Time will tell. So I'm really excited for this. Again, so they're, they're still looking at the future storylines with the Whisperers, I'm sure. And I think they're going to bring in the... Um, I think they're just going to give all the storylines to maybe other characters like Daryl and, you know, other maybe other characters that aren't in the comics like Daryl, Tara, and, you know, who else is in the comics in Rick's group? A lot of characters aren't in the comics, but Enid, maybe. Yeah, Enid, obviously. She's a big one that's not in the comics. Uh, Daryl, Tara, and Enid are probably the biggest ones. But I, I think that... Um, a bunch of Rick's character, uh, Rick's group is gonna get a bunch of Carl storyline. I don't think they're just gonna throw that all to waste. So you know what they're based based on what they're saying here. It looks like the whispers are coming. Uh, you know, there's a lot of thoughts and theories and speculations out there saying that whispers aren't coming, and I would hate for the whispers not to come. The whispers are very cool and scary, and I would absolutely love them on the show. So based on this article, it makes me really excited for season eight B and season nine. I'm excited for the future of The Walking Dead. That's what gets me excited. Just thinking about the comic book stuff coming to life on the TV show. Because the comic book stuff has some really cool, badass stuff that'll be amazing for television. But that's it for me, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, if you want to read uh, the whole article, um, it's just Entertainment Weekly. I'll leave it in the description box down below. But if you guys did enjoy this video, it'll mean so much for you to leave a like rating. And if you do enjoy Walking Dead videos and stuff like that, be sure to subscribe as I post daily Walking Dead videos. And thanks again for watching. It's been All Things Film. And until next time, peace.